Hi everybody, in this video we're going to look at um, adding a material as a light source and they call it an incandescent bulb. So, we really haven't gone into adding materials yet, but that's what this is going to require. So take a look. Uh, if I Arnold render right now, you can see I don't have a light source, I just have this sphere and this plane. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm going to take this uh, sphere and I'm going to assign a material to it and then place on this um, material that will emit light. And this is a great way, a better way than the mesh light in the previous tutorial. So uh, hold down right click on your object. If it doesn't happen, try it again. Holding down right click and come all the way down here to assign new material. Now I had mentioned we're going to be staying with Arnold for a lot of the things that we do. So over here, this is Arnold tab. So I'll click it and it sifts down the amount of textures that have to do with Arnold here. And we're going to be looking at the AI standard surface texture. <clears throat> so in here, right away, I'm going to go to the presets button here. I'm going to hold down presets. And when I hold down, you can see there's many, many different types of textures that come along with Maya. Um, and we're going to go right down to this incandescent bulb. Now, uh, once you go there, you're going to scroll to replace. So you can see incandescent bulb and replace. And we have this kind of a, I'll call it a cream colored light. And we'll get to that in just a moment. But let's see if this is actually working. Let's go to Arnold and render. And yes, you can see we have a light source now. I'm going to click this shape. <clears throat> and how do we get to the texture, right? I'm looking at the polysphere. I don't see anything with texture. It's always the tab to the far right. Those are the ones that have the textures, uh, <clears throat> the tabs to the far right. You can see standard surface right here, standard surface one. So uh, what can we do? If I scroll down, there's a... Um, tab called emission and that's where this is the weight which is the brightness of this material so if I brought this to a 20 you can see a big difference instead of a 1 and right here is the color so you might have thought why is it a cream color well it's this warm color because that's the color that was chosen so I can go right to a blue I can go to a stale white and you can see the difference <clears throat> and really that's about it that's what this does. Uh, this can be moved around. As I said, uh, this is an easier way to duplicate these shapes. Uh, it's much better than the mesh light. It doesn't slow your computer down as much. Um, so, those are... Oh, uh, by the way, I've duplicated this. And because this is the same texture, right? That means if I change one of these, it will change all of them. So in order for, if you want one bright light to be brighter than another or one light to be a different color, you would have to assign a brand new material. So assign new material, Arnold, standard surface, hold down presets and go to that incandescent bulb and replace. And now you see that this light can be a different type of light <clears throat> because we've changed it. Uh, we've added a whole new material. So that's good to know. Uh, good luck and give it a try.